You already know, it's Be A Pro Playoff time. We are here with Scott Sterling and the Columbus Blue Jackets going up against the Tampa Bay Lightning. We finished eighth in the league. They finished third, but right now we have the upper hand. Currently in this series, no team has won at home. So we played in Tampa Bay the first two games and we took two dubs and the only game we've played in Ohio so far has been an L. We're about to play another one, so hopefully that trend does not continue. But if it's anything like the series that put us out last year, then it's gonna repeat and we are going to lose this game. Again, hopefully that doesn't happen. We are still missing Johnny Goudreau, our only player with a gold X factor and our only player above like 86 overall. So us being in the playoffs is still a complete mystery to me. But once you're in, anything can happen. This is what the squadron is looking like. We got Marchenko, who has been an absolute machine. Can't complain with his performance whatsoever. He's up there with Kent Johnson and Oliver Bjorkstrand. This Corey Moen guy has been a machine as well. He was drafted by Smashville in the first round of the 2023 draft. And somehow we ended up with him. Could be a great player. And in net, yours truly, Scott Sterling. I just totally skipped past the defense. I entirely forgot about them. I apologize. Caden Gooley playing with David. That's all you need to know. Wait, hold on. Whoa. What's this then? How'd that happen? Call someone up. That's not the move. Don't put a forward there. See, this is why I'm starting that franchise be a pro. Because in that one... I would probably do the same thing, actually, so I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Right now, we are in the driver's seat of this series, but that could change right here, right now. Tampa Bay could tie it up, turn this into a best of three, and we don't want that. So let's try to prevent all of that from happening. We saved the first shot of the game. That's a great start. Power play for Columbus, and we don't score. I also gotta give props to this pop filter, because I feel like it's doing a pretty good job. I was skeptical, to be honest, and that is not good. Chernak scores on Scotty, 10th shot of the game, giving Tampa a 1-0 lead. There hasn't even been a shot in this period yet. There we go, Tampa Bay finally got one. That must have been the most uneventful first eight minutes of a period ever. Power play for Tampa, and they don't score. Will it remain 1-0 going into three? Yes. Yes, it will. Let's go here, boys. Little third period comeback. Who says no? Not me. I will tell you that for free. Braden Point already and gets it to Sorelli. And he's going to take a low shot, but Scott coming in hot here with a blocker save all over it. Nice pick, Johnson. Here we go. Oh, you got him beat. You got him beat. There's a guy in the middle, I think. I think he could have hustled a little bit harder. What was that? Our defense basically just tried to donate them a goal. Big save right there as well. All right, Sorelli back to the point. Oh, get out of here. A low blocker save. We are on one right now. The defense giving us no support. Well, the hill just got a little bit steeper. I still believe in the boys. Oh, we can pull this off. Come on, two goals. Easy peasy, especially when you got Marchenko out there. Guy's a goal-scoring machine. Well, our player in the background there just blocked a shot and got hurt. And did we take a penalty? For charging? Oh, get real. All right, now it's really not looking good. We are down by two. Gonna be going on the PK in just a second here. I want to see this. Nah, that's a clean hit. Keep your head up. Another low blocker save. For Scotty boy. Let's get this puck out here. Or not. Let's just give it right to them. That's a wonderful idea. I was actually thinking the same thing. I just didn't want to say it out loud. That was a absolute bullet of a shot. Okay. Uh, no. I am going to smother that one. The maturity of Scott on that play. You know, could have passed it out. Kept the play going. But decided that that was not the best course of action. We also cannot win a draw to save our life right now, so that is definitely not helping. I have follow. Nah. Get there, 5-2. Thank you. All right. It's, uh, it is over. Nice. So we are back to even strength. Still got 13 and a half to go here. We need to get one soon. Otherwise, you know, we're going to kind of be running out of time. Not really, but you know what I'm saying. And that does not help. Come on, 1-8. We might be toast here. It doesn't seem like we can get anything going. We finally win a face-off, so that's promising. And then David decides, you know what? Let's just bring it right back into our zone. What a magnificent play that was. 
All right, four on four. Two big saves there by Samuel Montembeau, and he plays it out to point. All right. That was unexpected, to be quite honest. <laughs> what just happened there? Yeah? Let's go! It is a one-goal game. He feeds it to Batherson. Bottom left corner. Look at that ref go. Is he ever going to stop? I wish you could, like, replay while they're doing their celebration because I think it kind of just skips past that. Anyway, cut the lead in half. I also believe that was a power play goal because ours had expired not too long ago. So it was either right at the end of that power play or it had just expired. Either way, doesn't matter. Nice carry. I like it. That was a smart shot too. I feel like it could have caught the goalie off guard. So it didn't, evidently. Could have though. It caught me off guard. It's probably not saying much, but... I wouldn't have been ready for that shot. Be careful with the poke checks here, boys. That... Never mind. I thought he hit him and, like, destroyed him into the boards with the stop sign on his back and all, but no. It looked like it was just sort of a off-balance. Nah, I'm not gonna send it out. 9-0 is right there. No. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing I'm doing it. Or not. Yeah, no, I didn't want to do it, actually. You're totally right. Definitely did not press right trigger. Couldn't be me. It's getting down to crunch time here. That was a bit of a crunching hit. It looks like it anyway. Heinemann kind of got leveled. Nice. Not so nice. Three minutes to go. That is a glove save if I've ever seen one. And spoiler alert, I have. Let's get this puck down the ice here, guys. Come on, show some urgency. There you go, David. Nice move. Am I getting pulled or no? Doesn't look like it. I will stay here. For the foreseeable future. Pointer has it now. Carrying it out for the Tampa Bay Lightning. He's in the zone. Goes to a wide open. No. Yeah, no shot. Absolutely not. <laughs> Did this go post post and then off of his skate? Or his knee? I thought it was on the ground. Let's see. It goes boom. I have no idea what happened there, to be honest with you. Oh, give me a break! As if. All right, it's a tie series. Nope. And again, the defense. Not getting rid of the puck. Could have cost us. Here we go, Jaden. Show me why you should be on that second line at 81 overall. Prove me wrong. Absolutely devastating. It is a best of three. In round one, after we were up 2-0, they did have 44 shots, to be fair. So, Scott had his guy. Played quite well. It's all right, boys. Sure, the momentum is not in our favor. Johnny, can you stop dressing up and not coming out on the ice, all right? I've had it. This game is massive. This will determine if we are one game away from moving on or one game away from being deleted. Do we get Johnny back yet? Is this guy, like, wait, no. Oh, Marchenko had that shot blocked, didn't he? You have got to be kidding me. We still have a forward playing defense. This team is just a hot mess right now. Come on, Columbus. Let's rally for these guys here. That's not a good start. Let in the first shot of the game. Oh! But Stankovin... But... Are we done? Uh, no? Yeah, we are. Of course we are. Somehow the score remains 2-1 after 1. Hopefully we can bury one early here. I really am not happy with what's happening right now, though. Our poor team is falling apart. We are getting bit by the injury bug. Thank you, Kent. You absolute legend. Come on, boys. I'm loving what I'm seeing. 3-2 lead. 4-2 lead because Kempe is a beautician. This could be great. This could be great. Yes! Thanks to a magnificent second period from Columbus. We now come into the third with a two-goal lead, a score of 4-2. to two, And I am extremely happy with that result. Here we go, Jaden. First line, Jaden Schwartz, 81 overall. Love to see it. Well, kind of. I mean, if it works, then you love to see it. If it doesn't work, you don't. Yeah, I'm smothering it. Braden Point goes for a deke, and he succeeds. But he cannot beat Scott. 
on that shot. The jacket's going right back the other way. Oh, what an effort that was. Just narrowly missing the net. Jeff Skinner coming back in. Thank you, Lindstrom. You absolute legend. Yeah? Ooh, oh, let's go. It is a 5-2 game. 15 minutes left. I don't want to get ahead of myself here because, again, I could collapse. But I really like this lead. I'll leave it at that. But seriously, though, what is it with these playoff patterns? Like, why last year could nobody win on the road? And now, in this year's playoffs, nobody can win at home. It's very strange. It was a weird angle for a shot. I think that was not even going near the net, but I'll take the stat. So if we win this game, it means we still have a game that we can take an L. And again, I don't know how long Johnny's out for. I don't know how long... Who is the other one? Oh, Marchenko, our goal scorer. If we could get them back for game seven, if it goes there. But again, nobody can win at home right now. And we are headed back home after this one. So we'll see. Basically, the point I'm trying to get at is that we'll have one more game for them to heal up. And hopefully come back. Don't let him buy. He let him buy. But our defense are still all over it. Jeff Skinner thought he had an angle, but he sure didn't. That would have been scary. Those are honestly my least favorite. Actually, breakaways are my least favorite because I feel like they just somehow always find a way to score. Except for when I flank poke check. But point shots, when there's traffic in front, gotta be number two. Because the tips of these players are lethal we are dominating right now puck is behind the net jared mccann gets pinned by david and we actually get support coming in thank you kempe they still come out with it though and back to ekblad it goes that will maybe hit the defender i think i was there for it though so we're chilling and oh a little kick away with the left mini wheat and a good back pass from our defender gets it out of the zone that's a big hit. That's unacceptable. I am going. Sam Montembeau, as soon as I have the opportunity. Get out of here. Woo! Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go him because it's a 5-2 game. I feel like it's sort of meaningless right now. If we were tied or something, then I would do it. But I don't want to give them any chance to get some momentum. I thought I was about to sneeze. And then I didn't, and now I am very unsatisfied. That has to be one of the all-time taunts. Like, you're getting ready to sneeze, and then it's just not there. Like, come on, man. A little bit of a tricky shot there from Paul. Maybe going for a rebound. That's the only thing I could think of, or trying to catch me off guard, perhaps. You never know what's going on through his AI mind. With a buck 29 left and a clean draw win. Things are looking real good for Columbus. Meaning that we will be one game away from advancing instead of one game away from losing. What a save by Samwise. <laughs> I don't know why, but the guy in the stands that says mini donuts just cracked me up. It took a minute, but I was just like, processing it and the way he says it it's like he he says it and then he's wondering who said that you know like you fart and then you kind of like look around like who did that he's like mini donuts who said that all right let's go back home and hopefully close this thing out hopefully get johnny back marchenko that defenseman borgen i think his name is 29 saves not a big deal Yes, it is. Sim to next game. Is Johnny Goudreau still on the IR? View lines. I don't expect him to be here, but nope. And we still don't have Marchenko either. Feels bad. Will Tampa push seven or will they be hitting the golf course? We're going to find out right here, right now. Times eight simulation speed. As you do, here we go. Fire me up. Yoast, our third pairing defenseman. What a beautician. We were also out shooting them like 7 nothing to start the game. And now we are doubling them. So I don't know what's going on. But Tampa Bay just can't seem to get anything going right now. And I'm all for it. Never mind. They really brought that back quick. Another power play. And another kill for Columbus. All right. 
Yes! Moen! That's my boy! And that's gonna do it. All right, 2-1, heading into the third after a clutch goal from our boy, Corey. That was his name, right? I need to remember to get a thumbnail picture from this game because it's the last game of the video. Could you remind me? Thanks. Why is there a Let's Go Lightning chant? Why did that guy just do the splits and he's totally fine? Like, that's impressive, actually. Props to you. I could never. After a little trip there, it is time for a Columbus Blue Jackets peeper. I thought he was just going to walk out and rip one, but you know what? That works, too. Great attempt, but Montembeau turns it away. Another one? Okay. That was a dangerous one, too. I'd give him another two if I were you. Nice. Ooh, not so nice. Truba gets his skate in the way. And that will just about do it for the five on three. We still have a power play. But no more two-man advantage. Do we need it? Yeah, we do. Tie him up or win it back and let's set up here. Yeah, beautiful. Maybe not the best idea right there. Nice. Feed him. Oh, I thought the guy on the back door. Should I go for one? No, I won't. I won't. I won't. It's a close game. But I will do that. Look at the board usage. Are you kidding me? A little trigonometry. Nice. Try Beautiful. Absolutely. I don't think I get an apple for that, right? I think... No? Yeah, I don't think so. That's unfortunate. Either way, it's a two-goal lead, though. Tampa definitely starting to get desperate here. You could just feel the extra spring in their step. They know their season is on the line. And they got a pretty big mountain in their way. Nice pickoff by Nizov. That was a humongous play. Could have been a B-way. Could have made it a one-goal game. Shifted the momentum, but no. Our defender was there. Breaks it up. And I have actually... Not too many complaints about the way our defensemen have played in this series. There's, you know, a few slip-ups here and there. But overall, I'm down. That was an easy one. Oh, I like the secondary save, too. Sort of, like, chested it to himself and then was like, give me that. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Just add a couple lens flares in there, you know? That was a good shot. We don't love that, but thanks to a goal earlier from Kempe. We do still have a lead. So that's awesome. And we're headed to the power play. Thank you. Yeah, cross check it. You can totally just press the cross checking button. And they'll do that 100%. I kind of want to see this actually. Jared. Oh yeah, come on, man. Suspend him. Suspended. Doug, kick him off the tour. <laughs> Did I just see what I think I just saw out of the corner of me eye? So this guy gets absolutely leveled, right? And then he gets caught under my pad. <laughs> oh my word. That might actually take the cake for thumbnail. That is wild. Yeah, that right there, that's gold. Let's reestablish that two goal lead here on the power play. That would be great. Yeah, I know you guys want to do it. So just do it. Come on. Why? Why is that a penalty? Because the guy got tornadoed? As if, Corey. Don't worry about it, pal. That was a clean hit. This ref is just delusional. But I would like to see the replay. Just in case, you know? So he's coming in. Keep your head up again. Like, no, it's a clean hit. I wouldn't have complained. Shorthanded goal? After we couldn't score on the power play? Novak is in. Oh, no. I got, like, beyond beat there. But somehow Point missed the most open net ever. And off of just a little razy, he broke the glass. So that just goes to show you how powerful that man's shot is. All right, they win the draw. He's going to go over. I knew it. I knew it. Like, just shoot the puck down the ice. Come on. It can't be that hard. Oh, go. Skate, young man. So why are we getting fancy exactly? You want to riddle me that? That just seems like an undisciplined play by a player that 
shouldn't be doing that. Guy's got the pink visor on, all of a sudden he thinks he can try pulling off some fancy maneuvers in a potentially playoff series clinching game. That kind of scared me. I thought I was too far over to the left, but still managed to get the blocker on it. We are back to even strength. That was a good kill. Three and a half to go. Tampa Bay not going down without a fight. Our defense once again breaking up a play there. I'll take the whistle. We need it. I liked it. Tried to thread the needle. We still get it. Find a way. Find a way. Like they're using the force. This hat, we need an investigation. There's no way that puck stops right there and just doesn't budge. Thank you for that draw win. And we get the puck out just as fast. They're gonna pull their goalie pretty soon here, I would think. Unless, that could have closed it out. That could have been the dagger. Final minute of play. Our one goal lead still remains. Will we be able to keep it? And move on to round number two. So far, I'm thinking yes, because it almost seems like we're playing as if we're down by one. But here comes Tampa, 20 seconds left. Okay, stay composed. Yep, and throw it out, he's wide open. Kill some time off the clock. Yes! 10 seconds left, empty net, and the defender gets in the way. Darnell Nurse just saved this game, potentially. Jared McCann, no. Yes! That was a massive play. That's game. Let's go. We are moving on. We broke the pattern. Won a game at home. What was that all about? Was it regional restrictions on celebration? 32 shots apiece. And I just won up Sam. It is what it is. Sorry. I mean, to be fair, he was like 81 overall and Scott's 95. But... We don't have to talk about that. Nearly a 920 save percentage through that first round. A sub three GAA, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and find out who our next opponent will be. It's taking a while here. All right, stop simulating. We get the Detroit Red Wings, who finished 18th in the league and also won their series in six. Johnny, please. Or Marchenko, come on, you just blocked a shot. It can't be that bad. All right, we at least have Kirill back. That's good. And do we still have a forward playing defense? Yeah, we do. Just call someone up from the minors. It can't be that hard. Bjorkstrand, point a game right now. We have four players actually with five points. Johnston, Moen, Batherson, and Caden. Let's go. He has a goal and four hamburger helpers. What a legend. Marchenko is point a game. Three goals as well. He has a 30% for his shooting percentage. Scott Sterling currently sitting at 4-2-0 with a 919 save percentage as I just mentioned. Hopefully I remember, but I will try to run over Detroit's roster in the next video. Actually, we'll do it quick now and then I'll re-go over it in the next one, just in case. So they have Greg Dorsett, Casper, and then Warren Fogle as their third guy here. So they have, wow, all right, okay. And Fogle, 81 overall with five points. Wallstrom, okay, yeah, fair enough. I mean, we had Gooley with five points, so that's a defenseman that's 81 overall. And who would be their netminder? Oh my word, a 936-209. You see what I see, Soros, and what I see is some phenomenal stats. There was no sweeps in round one. The closest was Philly and the Rangers, but the Rags still took one game off of Broad Street. So yeah, those are the final eight teams. I'm hyped that we were able to move on. Wasn't sure, honestly. I thought we were gonna lose that one and go to a game seven, but nope, here we are and Hopefully, we can have a similar result against Detroit. Well, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you, and I will see you soon.